It is five o'clock somewhere, right? Today is National Wine Day and food, Wine and Food Week in the Woodlands is just around the corner here with the details. We have Rachel Lewis along with Master Sommelier Guy Stout and Jesse Cavazos, Executive Chef at Crew Wine Bar. Welcome to Houston Life. Happy Friday. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. This Thanks is so much such a us. great event, Rachel. Let's talk about it because it it's is. happening in the Woodlands. It is. We are in the Woodlands June 4th through 10th. We are so excited to kick it off. You know, today I'd love to talk about our big three which are our Wine Walk, which is sponsored by HEB on Thursday, our Sip Sets and Tacos on Friday, which is our taco takedown competition, and our um, Grand Tasting, which is our finale. And so that is a competition between 60 participating chefs, and they are competing for the Waterford Crystal Chef of Chefs Award and a $5,000 cash prize. I mean, that's good stuff. Of yeah. course, wineandfoodweek.com is where all the information is and where to buy tickets. We want to bring Guy in, Master Sommelier. You're going to talk bubbles. Well, I want to show you how to open a bottle of champagne right. properly. Okay, let's do it. Okay, all right, yeah. let's do it. What is the proper way? What do we need to do to start? We got to cut the foil, right? Well, yeah. Really? Most of them have this little tab that you pull, but it's been my experience; it never works. Okay. So <laughs> I cut the lower edge of the capsule like this. Okay. Reverse it. Then I'll go between two of the wire legs with the knife, and I'll peel it off, and it comes off cleanly. That's perfect. Like that. <clears throat> This is where you want to place a cloth over the top. Okay. The number one thing people do wrong is take the wire basket off. I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm guilty. You, you find that little wire ring there. Okay. And it's right there. You want to place a cloth over the top and what if it gets away from you, it'll knock the cork down instead of hurting. It's This is live ammo once you get going. Okay. So I'm going to twist it. There's six turns. Two, three, four, five, five six. six. Okay. I pull the wire away from the neck of the bottle, and then I grip the cork at a 45-degree angle. Watch out, Jesse. Not, not, <laughs> not pointing it at anyone. Okay. Turn the base of the bottle and rock it, and the cork eases out. There you go. You don't want... Like just a nice, yeah. I love it. There Look at that. Are, it's like perfect. That. I'm going to let you pour, Guy. The the wine and the sparklings that we have here, these are all available at HEB. And they're all $15 and under, so it's fantastic. This is the affordable stuff. we got a Chardonnay from the south of France. Wonderful. From Louis Latour, fabulous. A rosé of Sangiovese. Love. All right, let's Alexander talk about the Valley. cheese board. I'm going to taste this. Jesse, yeah, tell me what you have here. We have about 30 seconds. So we got uh, Humble Fog. We got Mount Tam, we got Point Reyes Blue. Uh, we're going to set up a nice, easy, simple cheese board. Uh, most of these cheeses you could get at Central Market mm -hmm. or HEB. I like how you just beautiful. add the figs and you've got a pear. Well, you, you could put anything you want together. Jam, uh, you know, different types of fruit, honey. It, it's all up to your preference. It's all about presentation. Uh, and, it and is also, about presentation. And you, what we're going to do is we're going to add more of, on this information and more about these wines on our website. We're going to do a little video after the show to make sure you guys get all the information. Again, foodandwineweek.com. Don't forget, mark your calendars June 4th through the 10th. And BTW, happy... National Wine Day. Happy Somebody, National Wine Day. Anyone yes. drinking up here? Somebody, come on, yeah. let's go. All right. Up